Okay, so this is um, a power calculation with a transformer. And the question is, can we be quiet? The question is, why is it that they transmit power at such darn high voltages, right? Um, when I was in Boy Scouts, we went to this place in Missouri where they had a cross-country tran uh, transmission power line that was like 500,000 volts, right? When we hiked up to the, the towers to just look at the towers, a squirrel did this very bad thing, which like meant it jumped like too close to the wire, right? And the squirrel became, in a very large flash of light, uh, fragments of squirrel. Oh the, the smoking fragments of which just sort of rained down, right? And we, we went to look for the squirrel's body and just found like a few little scraps, right? So the question is, why is it that they use such high voltages? And in fact, that's what they do. Um, they actually will use, and I've got a little slideshow here that we can look at. There's just a slide, and I don't know if Matt showed you this. Did you show him this slide? Yeah. Yeah, okay. What it is a picture of is that they, 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 they generate the power at about 600 volts, okay? They step it up pretty quickly to something really, really high, like 500,000 volts. Those are the ones you see when you drive out to sort of like toward John Day or out toward um, uh, highway, 213. Out highway 84 in the gorge there, oh, yeah. right? As you get out at like past the Dalles, right? Those enormous, can we stop talking? Can we stop? Okay, when you see those enormous transmission lines like that, those things are the ones that are like 500,000 volts. The reason that they do that is this, okay? Let's imagine that we are going to transmit one megawatt, so one times 10 to the sixth watts of power across some lines that maybe have a resistance of two ohms, okay? And we are going to transmit this power, okay? We're gonna transmit it at, let's do it at 5,000 volts, okay? Let's transmit it at 100,000 volts, right? Now, here's the trade-off. 5,000 volts isn't very much. Your transmission lines are pretty cheap to make, okay? You can actually send 5,000 volts around on little insulators and have a single insulator, and your towers don't have to be so complex. So to build it is very cheap, okay? But let's just look at the energy costs because that's, that's why they do it, right? Okay, so the key here is that these power lines, when we talk about power loss, they always talk about something called I squared R loss. In a power line, you calculate the power lost in terms of I squared R, where R is the resistance of the line, I is the current going through the line. Well, if you look at it that way, which, what do you want to do when you transmit the power? You want to make the current as small as you can so that you have the smallest I squared R loss. Now, there is a point of diminishing returns. At some voltage, your power lines are just way too expensive to build. A million volts, you can't do it. You know. Okay, but apparently 500,000 volts is doable, right? So let's just look at this calculation. This is the calculation you have to be able to do, right? So the first thing to do is find the current. The current is just V over, uh, or no, I'm sorry, power over, over voltage, okay? So the formula I'm using there, by the way, is power is IV. It's funny, all right, okay? So here it's 1E6 watts divided by 5,000 volts. I think that's going to be kind of a lot of current, right? Can we stop? Thanks. Okay, divided by 5,000. Okay, this gives us 200 amps. Well, they're big wires, maybe we can do that, right? Okay, our power now, if we plug it into the power, our power becomes that we've lost is I squared R, so it's 200 squared times, and we said it was two ohms, right? So 200 squared times two is 80,000 watts lost. And that's still not all that much, right? Because we're transmitting 1,000 thousand watts, right? We lost 80 of 1,000. You know, what's the big deal, right? Well, let's look at 100,000 volts. Just a quick calculation, right? Well, the first step is find the current. Current is power divided by voltage, right? So it's a megawatt right, divided by 100,000 volts, that is 10 amps, isn't it? Yes? 
Okay. Now our power lost is, well, what is it? It's 10 squared. Power is I squared R, right? 10 squared times 2. Well, 10 squared times 2 is 200, 200 watts, right? Okay. So which do you want to waste? Do you want to waste 80,000 watts, or do you want to be the one wasting 200 watts? Yeah, you know, because time is long. These power lines are going to be around for a long, long time, and that's a lot of energy to lose, right? So that's why they do it. So what they do typically is they'll, they'll transmit it really, really high. Because it's sort of dangerous to have 500,000 volts running around Tualatin, right? You know, okay? Um, and, and also, by the way, kind of expensive, but, but more, more importantly, dangerous, right? What they do is outside Tualatin, they, they've got substations, and they step it down to something like 10 or 20,000 volts. Those lines run around your neighborhood. They are very dangerous, but not as dangerous as 500,000 volts. In your backyard, right, and there's a hierarchy. For sure, this is a hierarchical network where we've got high voltage substations, more high voltage, other substations, right? And then finally, it gets around to going to your house, right? And in your backyard, in Tualatin, you guys have underground service, don't you? In large parts of Tualatin. In your backyard, those humming green boxes are things that take about 10,000 volts and turn them down to about 110 or 220 for your house. And those wires going into your house, you still should be careful about them, but you're not going to fry yourself if you just sort of bump up against them. Think of them as a power cord, right? They have insulation on them. You can protect them with a plastic sheath, and that's what they have on them. Okay, so blah, 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 yeah. So this is something you can do if you're really bored instead of like, you know, uh, organizing revolts on, on Facebook, which also, by the way, is commendable, okay? The other thing you can do is go out in front of the school. Isn't that a high voltage line going by in front of the school? It's at least 50,000 volts, that thing right in front of the school, right? High tension line right in front of the school. Is that a good idea? I don't know, right? Follow that. Follow where it goes. It's going to a substation. Substations have all sorts of humming transformers that step it down to like, a, a, well, I don't know. I'm guessing away from Bonneville, so you head toward Wilsonville, right? See where it goes. They go to substations. Yeah, it could be. Question. Oh, the current, well, the question is why is voltage dangerous and not current? If the current's flowing through you, it's dangerous, right? But you need a high voltage to make it go through you because you have so much resistance, right? That's the answer there. <laughs>